Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry for the lack of videos recently. January has just been unusually busy and I have so many waiting to go up. I just really struggled to find the time to edit them, but I do have a slightly quieter period coming up. So expect a lot of videos coming your way within the next week or so. But in today's video, I'm going to be covering everything that I've been loving over the last month or so I'd say. It's a mix of everything as usual. So I have some clothing in here, some accessories, a little bit of home decor, just a little bit of everything. Everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So I'm going to start off with beauty as per usual and I actually only have one beauty pick this time but it is this nail polish which I actually got as a stocking stuffer for Christmas and I have been hooked on this ever since I first tried it. It is the only colour I've worn it since I first put it on. It is so beautiful, it is the perfect nude, it's such a pretty shade and the best thing is is it's fully opaque as well. I'm not really a fan of semi sheer nudes or just semi sheer colours in general. I always prefer to have an opaque nail polish and this is fully opaque with just two coats it wears really well as well which isn't always the case with Chanel nail polish and this just ticks all the boxes for me so I've been wearing this both on my nails and my toenails I love the shade so gorgeous next up is a water bottle which is a little bit more random for me um, but I wanted to share it because I've been loving this so much I've been on the lookout for a large and preferably glass water bottle for a really long time but it's pretty difficult to find them in larger sizes often they're a lot smaller because obviously a lot of people want them to be portable to take with them on the go whereas I really wanted this to sit on my desk so I wanted something a lot larger and I stumbled across this which is a full litre size. I thought it was just perfect. It's glass as well and it does have the silicone sleeve. It's from the brand BKR which I was familiar with and it just has a kind of plastic stopper as well. So exactly what I wanted. I love the fact that it is just kind of a full litre so I can track exactly how much water I'm drinking. Makes it so much easier to get all the water in that I need. I just think it's the cutest thing and it looks so pretty on my desk. So very, very thrilled with this. And next up are two jewelry picks. And if you watch my Black Friday content, you may recognize these pieces. Um, so these are both from Misma. I got these as part of a campaign I did during Black Friday but I've been obsessed with them ever since. Um, so it's two pieces in particular. So it's this necklace, which is a rose quartz necklace, which I have been loving so much. I've been wearing it constantly ever since I got it. And it's just the prettiest thing. I love rose quartz in general, and this has just been such a favorite for me. It's a really pretty shade of gold as well. And the pink is just absolutely stunning. So, so lovely. And then I've also been loving and wearing pretty much constantly. I haven't taken this off once since I got it, this double beaded bracelet. So it looks like it's two bracelets, but it's actually only one. I think this is so lovely. I've been wearing it both kind of with my Cartier bracelet on this wrist and also just kind of separately on this wrist. I like it both ways, but it's just the daintiest thing. They wear really well as well. I've been like, I literally haven't taken this off at all. So I've been wearing it in the shower and it's done great. And I just love it, it's so dainty and pretty and I've just been really impressed with these pieces. So, huge fan of these, just such beautiful items. Next up I have some clothing favourites and I have two camel tone pieces here. I'm still very much on my camel kick and I found this sweater from ASOS. It was really inexpensive and it is beautifully soft. It's such a nice fabric. It does have a fair amount of stretch to it. It's a very simple cardigan um, and then it doesn't have a button so it just kind of drapes down and you do have these great little pockets as well. I thought this was so cute. I did have a gift voucher for ASOS so I used it on this and a couple of other pieces but this is by far my favourite. It is such a pretty shade of camel as well. It's really light in tone and just really cute with a pair of jeans, a nice top, nice little cami and I just think it looks super cute so huge fan of this. And for my other camel favourite, it had to be my camel coat that I got. If you watched my what I got for Christmas video, you will probably recognise this because I got it for Christmas, I showed it in that video, but this has been such a favourite for me. I think it is so beautiful and really just the perfect camel coat. It is the nicer shade of camel, not too dark, not too light, just really beautiful and classic. And the cut of it is just so nice. It's kind of double breasted, but only with the one button, so not too much. And the fit is just so nice. It fits fairly slim, but not so much that you can't wear a sweater underneath it. It looks good with both dresses and with jeans as well, which not all coats do. And it's just the nicest, most versatile piece, which also just looks super classic. So 
so so in love with this just been absolutely thrilled with it next up is a top and this isn't very winter appropriate but to be honest i am so over the cold weather i am just ready for some sunshine and some warmth and i just thought this was very very cute so it is a slightly thick material and um, by no means a sweater but it's not like super flimsy it's a really pretty waffle knit and it just has this really nice tie at the bottom which i thought was so cute it's from a brand called karen kane which i'd never heard of before but it looked cute on the model and then i got it and I thought it was just the most adorable thing. So I've just been layering this because obviously it's still pretty cold outside but I think it will obviously transition really nice into summer as well. Just a very very cute piece. Next up I have some techie favourites and I don't talk too much tech on my channel mainly because I'm not super into it but I do have two favourites here which I've been loving so much. Admittedly one of them is a little bit more techie than the other um, but I wanted to share my earphones first of all which I got a few months ago and these have just been the best buy yet. So they are the kind of proper wireless ones and I've been looking at these for a while. I know Apple do the really famous ones but I was a little bit scared about trying those because I haven't really had good luck with their earphones before. So I wanted to try a different brand, didn't know what to go for. And I saw these on Amazon and I think these were less than 40 pounds. So they weren't too much talk because a lot of them can be 200 pounds and more. Gave them a try, I thought they were super cute. They do have the kind of gold effect on the front and they're just white everywhere else. And these have been so, so good. So they come in their own charging case, which you charge. And then every time you put them back, it actually charges the earphones. They fit really, really well in your ear. They don't move, so they're good for working out as well. Sound quality is really good. And these have just lasted and lasted. I've had no issues at all. The battery life is fantastic. I think I use these all the time. I've actually only charged the case maybe three times since I got them. I've had these for a few months now. So I've just been so impressed, especially for the price. You know, I wasn't expecting particularly good things, but these have just blown me away. So huge fan of these, would definitely recommend. And my other tech favorite isn't really fully tech, it is kind of an accessory, uh, but it is my laptop case that I got for Christmas. Another one you'll recognize if you watch my what I got for Christmas video, but I got this from Dan and I genuinely think it's the most beautiful laptop case I've ever seen. I've been using it all the way throughout January and I've been using it to both carry my laptop and also documents in as well. It fits both and my laptop's in there at the moment. So it fits really nicely, mine is just a 13 inch MacBook Pro and then there's plenty of room to still fit in some documents and there's also a pocket on the back as well but I have just felt so pulled together and just with it with this laptop case I think it looks great it looks so professional and chic I love the color it's such a beautiful shade even the little center of stamping there I think it's stunning just such a huge favorite for me I have been loving this to bits Next up is a home decor favorite, and this is an orchid that I got. And I have a love-hate relationship with orchids in the sense that I love them, but I feel like they hate me because no matter what I do, no matter how much research I do into keeping them alive, they just die on me. Like, I do not have any kind of green finger, just nothing stays live under my watch. And so I finally accepted that and got a faux orchid. I've been looking for some really realistic ones for a long time, really struggled because it's just not easy to find good fake flowers, I think. And then I stumbled across this and I thought it was amazing. So these come in a whole bunch of different sizes and colors. I went for the silver vase with the white orchid and you have these really realistic leaves. You have this kind of moss effect as well. You have this kind of weird crystal thing, which I'm not 100% sure about, but the orchid itself I think looks so realistic, it's so beautiful, drapes in a really nice way and just everything that I wanted. So I've been so happy with this, it looks so so nice, I just put it on our media unit. Love the effect of it and I love the fact that it's also not going to die on me as well. So wanted to share in case anyone else has this issue, this has just been such a great discovery for me. Next up I have a couple of bag favourites and first up is my St. Laurent Lulu Puffer. I have been loving this bag so much. It's just been so great. I've been using it so much and I seem to fall in love with it more every single time I use it. And I know it's not everyone's cup of tea in terms of the look, but I feel like if you do like the design, you will love the bag because it's just so comfortable to wear. It's so easy to grab and go. You know, it is a shoulder bag design. It can fit a lot inside, but even if you do wear it down because the bag itself is so light, it never seems to get uncomfortable. The shoulder straps just kind of mold to your shoulder as well. 
and I just think this is wonderful. It seems to be a pretty popular design as well because I'm seeing Saint Laurent release new hardware, new colors, new sizes, so it does seem to be a popular one and I can completely understand why. It's just been fantastic, so if you do like the design and you have been debating it, I would definitely recommend it. It's just been such a firm favorite for me. And my other favorite is 100% my Givenchy Antigona in the small in the mock rock. And I do have another video coming up. Maybe it's my next one, if not in the next week, I'm talking about my favorites of 2019. And both of these make the cut because I just think they're the most beautiful bags. And this one doesn't score quite as high in terms of the practicality. I don't love the fact that it doesn't open that wide. I have mentioned this before, but it is quite a narrow opening for what is still a pretty large bag. But that said, everything else makes up for it for me because I just love the look so much. I think it's very polished and pulled together. It really seems to elevate any outfit that I team it with and I just love it. So I'm 100% convert to this size as well. I love the small size, I think it's great. And overall, I just think this is the most stunning bag. So both huge favorites for me. I've just been very, very much in love with them both. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will leave all links in the description section below. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment. And if you like favorites videos, please do give this a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye.